Canadian bacon girl. Okay, don't know what that means exactly, but yeah. Canadian bacon is, is I mean, isn't that, is there any difference between Canadian bacon and, uh, Canadian bacon and, um, and, uh, Vermont? Or not Vermont. Um, where, where, where's the ham from? I forget where, where our best ham is in the U.S., but is there any real difference? Bacon Bay 94. <laughs> Bacon Bay, that's a good one. Bacon Bay, I like that. Let's cast, we'll play rookie one. Canadian bacon is ham. Yeah, yeah, but where, where is it? Whatever. Okay, let's go Vishvef 1. Okay, I'll play D5 here. Yeah, Vermont has maple syrup. I was, no, I was, I was thinking of what Canada and Vermont have in common as maple syrup. It's not, it's not bacon. So that's on me. I'm completely wrong. I'm going to play rook b1, a3, b4. If f5, I just take and go knight g5. Okay, still have g3 here. Um, he, he really wants f5. I'm going to play knight b5, though, to put pressure on this pawn. Now, I think I can play g3, because if f5, I still have knight g5 ideas. Now, I can play bishop h3 here, which looks strong. So if f5, again, I can take and play knight, knight, uh, knight h4 to put pressure on f5. And he's got to deal with this annoying pin as well. So he plays queen d8. And play knight a7. I think I'm just gonna play a3, b4. Continue to build this, build the position. So we trade. Hmm. Anyway, rook a8. Um, I can play bishop e3 at some point. I really need to remove my knight. So I'm gonna play queen d3 and then bishop e3, I think. Oh, chess bacon, chess bacon. Ah, I missed, I missed the joke. You guys are funny. I missed the joke there. Okay, so I'm threatening c5 maybe, although he's got bishop a6, so it's not really a threat. Plays bishop a6, doesn't really concern me. I think I'll just play rook a1. If he wants to take, I take. Now he's got a backward pawn. This pawn of b4 restricts the c5 square, so it should be clearly better for white. I'm going to play queen c2, put pressure on this pawn on c7 here. So he trades, I take. Rook c8. I mean, again, this looks really, really bad for black. Queen c6, major pressure here. Major pressure on every pressure point for black. Can't move the knight. Can't move the rook. Can't move the queen. He's going to try king g8. I'll just play knight d2 and f3, I think. And then probably knight c4, and there's... It, this should be winning, I would assume. I'll play f3, of course. Uh, I think there's bishop g5, maybe. Bishop g5, bishop h6. Don't quite see the win, though, so... Um, I think I'll just keep keep building up the position with knight c4. Now, I can take... I can take a take in queen d7. Oh, he's got some queen g5, I guess. Does he? Maybe. Okay, so I'm I'm not even concerned. I'm just gonna play bishop f2 and just chill out and wait. Plays king g7. Let's go king g2. Bishop g5. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait wait around here. He plays h4, but now I think I can take and play h5. Because if he takes, I have bishop h4, and then the pin is really a big problem here. He plays knight b8, queen b7, of course. I guess now I can just take. He takes, now knight d6 should be winning, as should bishop d7 for that matter. But let's see, knight d6 takes, yeah, I think this just must be winning. Because the problems for black, he's got huge problems on the seventh rank. Now let's play h4. Oh, but he's got rook c2. Just slightly annoying. Yeah, this is slightly annoying, but it still should be... Um... Oh wait, I've got rook a8. Oh, I've just got rook a8, of course. Now... Oh, but if I take... 
making a real mess out of this. I'm gonna have to play rook a3 and just try to uh, rebalance everything. Rook b2. Let's go. Um, there should be six, I guess. Gonna probably have to flat. Oh, what am I doing? Again, like, what am I doing? Now I can run the king up. Uh, thank you to Faceless for gifting a sub to chess ch to Cheese Bacon. Thank you so much. Still probably winning because I've got King C6 and my pawn is much faster than his pawn. He also can't push his pawn, so I just take D6, D7. Takes um push D6. Now I think Rook E3 should be winning. He can't take, so I queen. Bishop C5, queen I just take. Um, what did I just do? What did I just do? Unbelievable. There we go. Terrible game, absolutely horrendous. Play Knight of Six. Let's take. That was disgusting, I agree. That was pretty disgusting. Rook A6 was really disgusting, I agree. Rook A6 was really disgusting, I agree. Rook A6 was pretty disgusting. GM technique is so advanced I don't understand it. Yeah, I you know that too. Okay, I can take I'm playing IT7. There's some H6 here or F6. Oh actually I was supposed to play Bishop G4. Why didn't I do that? Okay, let's just play F6, I guess, and castles. I think I'll play knight c5, put the knight on e6 here. Next tournament is um is in uh is is uh Isle of Man. Let's play bishop d4. I think b5 is a threat. Plays king h1, I still have b5 at some point. I think I prefer to play b6 and a5 though if I can. Takes, I'll take. Guess I'll play f4. Probably I'll take and play a5 and rook d8 is my guess. Okay, plays knight e3. I'll still play a5, of course. Need to finish my uh, queenside development here with rook d8. So takes, rook d8. Oh, I had f5, I guess. No, f5, he had c3. So no, that wasn't good. Um, I think I'm just going to play rook d7, rook d8, and try to put maximum pressure here on this... Uh, Queen side structure. Now he plays this. I'm just gonna sack. I don't know if it's good, but it looks interesting enough. Um, I think I can play rook d8 because of e5. I can probably just take and go queen d7. I'm threatening to win the pawn on b3, but I can't. I had to go rook d8 first, so I can't let him get a knight to e6. Okay, now if I take. Yeah. Okay, I guess I just take. f6, queen d7 looks good. F7, I see everybody's like, F7, question mark. F7, I just go king F8. Thank you, Arctic Bond, for the sub with Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Plays queen G5. 
Okay, Queen G5. Um, so I can play something like H6. A little bit weird. Queen D5 is always a move. Rook D2 is also a move at some point. Rook F8 looks pretty, um, pretty reasonably logical here. So Rook E5, I can play Rook D1, I think. Okay, plays Knight E3. So he's trying to get a Knight F5 here. But I thought I could play, ah, Rook G6, he takes. And if G6, this might just be losing for me. I do have H6, perhaps. H6, Queen G6, Rook D6, Knight G4. Um... Guess I'm gonna play it. I mean, I'm sure I'm getting mated here somehow, but I'm gonna go for it. Plays work F2, so I can obviously, I mean, I can grab a pawn. Which I feel like I probably should. Uh, he wa he wants to double. This is his idea. He wants to double the rook. So okay, let's play queen d4 then. Try to prevent this rook f1 idea if we can. Although maybe he still gets it anyway. So now, um, oh shoot. Oh wait, now he's just starting f7 again. Ay ay ay. This is not gonna work out for me. Yeah, just terrible, terrible choice. Terrible choice. Um, maybe I can play queen d5 and rook f3. Oh, he's just oh, he's just got knight h6. What am I doing? Yeah, that was that was just a stupid attempt to sack a piece that I should not have done. Play e4, knight c3. Knight of three. This I'm not gonna be on very long, you guys. So I'm playing bad chess, which is probably a good thing. The worse I play, the better I'll play tomorrow, most likely. So uh, this is not gonna be a super long stream. Maybe like another like five, six games, and that's gonna be about it. Because I'm, as I said, I'm playing really just terrible chess. Let's play a three. G three, bishop G two. I'm gonna play h3 to stop this. Just castle. Thank you, Face for the 100 bits. Play f4, knight c4, bishop c1. Play king h2. I will just take and play knight e2, I guess. Or actually, I'll play b3, bishop b2 instead. I also have bishop e3, bishop d4 maybe, but I'll just play bishop b2 here. Probably bishop e7, just knight e2. I can take and take on d6. So let's play knight e2. Okay, just take. He takes with a pawn. Okay, so now, I mean, white is clearly better here. Black is a horrible king. So I'm going to play h4 to just keep an eye on this weak pawn on h5 for the rest of the game. Then knight d4. Plays knight d7. I can always play for some f5, but it doesn't really look logical. a4, maybe playable, but I think queen d2 and just rook e1 seems to make the most sense. Plays queen c7. I give him queen c3 here. Perilous. Although actually, maybe I can play a4 because now there's no b4. If queen c3, we just trade. If he takes, I just play rook a4, knight c5, rook c4. Not perfect, but not not horrible. So rook c4. He's gonna have to move the queen somewhere, like b6 maybe. Or b8. Okay, it goes to b8. I think I will just play rookie one to support the pawn again. How many laptops in front of you? I just have two screens. 
I've got my main monitor and then I've got my other monitor, my uh, my other monitor, which is um, on the other screen. So I have E5 ideas here. I've got F5 too. I've also got B4 and IT7. I don't have a good continuation. D6, King F8, D7. Whatever, let's just go for it. I'll pre-move takes if if he takes. I don't think he will take, but he could take. Any solo wins? No, I've I've played a few games last night, but no, not no wins. I keep getting kills, but no wins. No wins, unfortunately. Okay, so I have takes. I mean, this must be winning. Like, this has to be winning with 96 here on Queen D4. Thank you, Johan SSC, for the two month resub. Thank you so much. Let's play Queen D4. It's Queen C8. I can just play Queen E3 to put pressure on the pawn on E6 here. Does he have d4? No, because I can just take. If queen c2, just queen e2. Now I take and play c4, and I win the pawn, and it's just a clean win. It's rookie five, I just take. Okay, five, I mean three versus one. Kind of surprised he's still playing on, but... Yeah, he just resigns. Okay, next game. Let's play e5 again. Bishop c5, I'll take, I'll take. Many GMs prefer two bishops over two knights. What about two rooks versus one queen? The queen is almost always better, it seems, unless there's a clear advantage for the uh, for the uh, for the rooks. I'll play knight d7. Castles. I guess I'll just play queen e7 here. Same kind of concepts. Go bishop h5. If g4, just bishop g6. What about bishop plus knight versus rook plus pawn? Uh, actually, most players prefer two pieces against the rook. Computers are better at that than we are, though, in terms of understanding when the rook and pawn is better than the uh, than the uh, than the two pieces. It's knight d2 again. Same kind of thing. I'm gonna play f6 here. And bishop c5. But Mr. Hikaru, Eric Rosen said otherwise. What did he say? What did Eric say? What did Mr. Rosen say? Did he say something silly? Let's take. What did Mr. Rosen say? Did he say something silly about two pieces or something? I, I'm not, I must be missing the joke. Um, I think I'll play c5 here. B3, I can always take. I mean, this is a very dry position. I'm gonna go knight b8, knight c6, I think. Okay, obviously now I take. I can't give knight h4, knight f5, and knight c6 next move. They prefer two rooks over the queen almost always. What? What is what is Eric talking about? I'm gonna play g5 and h5, of course. Okay, I, I'm just gonna play h5. I'm a little bit confused. Let's take. Um, okay, so I will castle, of course. Plays queen f6. 
I can trade if I want to. I can also just play like rook d6, which looks pretty reasonable. I think I'll play, or no, rook d6 hangs a rook. Actually, takes and rook f8 looks fine. But you know what? I eh, queen d7 hangs a pawn. I've misplayed this significantly. I'm just going to take and go king b7. Okay, g4, of course. Plays rook f5, so obviously I'm going to take on h3. Bishop c3, logical move. I think, um... I'll play rook f8 here. Takes... Okay, let's go rook g8. Now we're sure done. I should just played rook g8 right away. Let's play rook g1. I'm gonna have to go rook c1, rook c2. Rook e6. Just king a6. King a8 maybe was better. I don't know. Perhaps. Guess gonna be four. Try to win this pawn. Oh, I blundered this. Oh shoot. Um. Now I can obviously make a draw with c4, or can I? Actually, it's not clear that I can. I guess I'll just play b5 instead. Oh, he's got king f5. Oh, he missed king f5. He had king f5 was just winning. Okay, I'm not even going to try to flag. I'm just going to offer the draw. Play b3, bishop b2. e3, let's play d4. This castle plays c4. Queen c2. I can play bishop f3. I think I'm just going to play something simple. Exchange the bishops. Uh, very flat position. Maybe e4, maybe d5 at the right moment. Plays a5, I'll just play a3 here. If he plays h6, I don't really want to play d5, but I think I might play it. Yeah, I think I will, because actually if he plays f5, I can take and go knight d4. Uh, because of the pin on the queen. Okay, plays queen d8. I'm going to go g3 again, same f5, knight h4. Uh, um, same knight h4 idea here. What am I typing? I'm typing in, I'm typing on Facebook. Just kidding. I'm typing, but it's not Facebook. Okay, he's got queen g5. I can take um, on f5 if I want to and play like bishop c1. Mm, I missed queen g5. That was unfortunate. 
Hmm, I guess I'll just play b4 and just ignore it then. It's gonna play f4, obviously. Don't like my position here, so let's play bishop c1. Oh, he's got queen h5. Or queen f6, okay. He plays queen f6, so I'll play rook d3 here, try to prevent f3. If he ever goes g5, I get knight f5. I'm gonna play, I think I'm gonna play rook f3 here, just to put pressure on this pawn. Okay, ah, he's got this one. Okay, let's go knight g2. Okay, now let's go swing the rook back to a3 here. Gotta get it off this f, f square, f file. It's really not looking good there. Um, hmm. I can play queen a2. I can also play like g4 h3. I think I'm just gonna play f3 though, because now if he takes, I can always just take. He takes, I'll take. He'll play rook a8, I assume. And I'll probably, I'll play queen b3, I think. Plays h5. So I should definitely play rook f1 here. Okay, bishop c1 makes sense here. Plays rook a8, logical moves as well. Um, I guess I can play like... I think I'm going to play knight e1, knight e3 here. This makes a lot of sense, just to put pressure on the pawn on f4. I play knight f2, I can also take... I think I'll take. If he takes, now I get bishop b2 and e5, and it's very double-edged still, but I think it should be in my favor. I also have king h1 and like rook g1 as well. Or queen g2, I think I'll play king h1 here. Goes king f7. I was wondering if I could sack something here. I don't see it, so I'm gonna play rook g1 to force the queen off. And now I think I can play bishop b2 and their threats with like bishop e5 lurking. Plays rook g8. Obviously, I will trade. Now I'll play c5, and I feel like I'm getting somewhere here slowly. Okay, let's. Um, guess I'll play c6 just for the end game purposes of this pawn structure. Queen c8. I do want to sack at some point, but I don't see it quite yet, so let's play bishop c3. Knight h7. Oh, that's a good move. Oh. Ah, let's go for it. Let's just sack. Let's en Enough is enough. Let's just sack. Queen g2 looks good. I think h4 looks good, too. Oh, queen a6 is a very nice move by... Um, Let's play king h2. Queen a1. I think I'll go knight d7. So queen b2, king h3. He's going to lose the pawn. I'm going to just go e5 here. Because takes, I have check. Queen h5. Check. King, king there, queen g8's mate. So it just wins. Queen 